Hello there, and welcome to Ask Dr. Stacy. Thank you for joining me here today. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com. Also, founder of Lifestyle Balance Solutions, creator of the Balanced Living Academy, and author of the Healthy Fuels Cookbook. So, thank you for joining me on the Ask Dr. Stacy program. Here is where I share with you healthy living tips about fueling your body better for better body function naturally. And that's what I love to share with you. So this is a live Q&A. So I invite you to enter your name and where you're from. Just put it right and we can interact today. And um, all of our previous episodes of Ask Dr. Stacy, you can find on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page. So I invite you to join me there. There you will see tips about fueling your body better, healthy exercises, different recipes, and other healthy living tips that you can incorporate into your day. And all that information is there for you for free. You can check out the video tab on that page, Lifestyle Balance Solutions there on Facebook. And that's where all the previous episodes will be recorded and available right there on that page. So I do encourage you, if you gain benefit from what I'm providing for you through these episodes. Facebook works with algorithms and the more that you like and share, then the more the word will be spread and the more engagement we will have. And then the more opportunity you will have to see these episodes of Ask Dr. Stacy and faces and wow and ahas when those come along for you we would love to see that engagement so and any you can always tag your friends if there's a particular topic that I cover and they would be interested in be sure to tag your friends so they can have access to it as well I would love for that to happen so today uh, on our previous episode, we talked about brown rice and the benefits of it and uses of it and different ways that you can incorporate it into your daily living and also the benefits of it and how the how protection of it works within your body. And so that was really important. I came across the next one to be red rice. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. And in previous episodes, we've talked about different exercises. Recent episodes have covered movement at work and incorporating movement to keep your body healthy, even though you may be stuck at a desk and, and in a stationary position. So I encourage you to check those out. But I also focus on we tend to have a wide-based Gait for more stability because our balance is lost. And so I gave you excellent tips that you can use to keep those pathways strong, the neurological pathways, all the way from your ankles, all the way up to your vestibular system and your brain to keep your body working well in regards to balance. If you don't use it, you do lose it. So I encourage you to check that out. So today we're going to be talking about red rice. Red rice makes a delicious change from brown rice in your diet, and the grains contain a high level of important antioxidants and anthocyanins. So these are really important for your body. Antioxidants, we know the benefits of those. So there are several varieties of red rice grown across the world with slightly differing nutritional benefits. And of course, depending on where products are grown and the soil quality will determine different benefits that will be picked up by that particular plant from the nutrients it's receiving in the soil. So this is important as well. And the different varieties have differing nutritional benefits. So thank you for joining me here. I always welcome you to enter your name and email, or I'm sorry, your name and your location so we can see how far we're reaching as our viewers join in hit the like button and share with your friends if you gain benefit from what we're sharing today. So we're talking about red rice. There are several varieties of red rice grown across the world with slightly differing nutritional benefits, but they all contain the antioxidant group anthocyanins. So these are important and these give the rice its red coloring. And you know that different colors of foods have different phytochemicals and nutrients in them, which have differing beneficial effects for your body. 
So these pigments have important health benefits. They are anti-inflammatory, another great reason to consume red rice, and they can help reduce arthritis symptoms and they have anti-carcinogenic activity so they can protect against cancers. So this is very important. I see more are dropping in here on our call today. Thank you for joining me and be sure to like and share this with your friends. So we're talking about red rice. It is a great anti-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory foods help to control arthritic signs and symptoms because when you decrease inflammation in joints and in cells in the body, this reduces pain of arthritis because arthritis is inflammation of the bone. So you can help to control inflammation through the foods that you eat and red rice is a great component that you can incorporate. I will tell you that wheat, dairy, and sugar are the three most inflammatory things you can put in your body, which causes pain and inflammation. So you can alter the feeling of your body by the foods that you eat. So red rice here, we're learning, is a great anti-inflammatory and can help to reduce arthritis symptoms. Red rice can also help prevent cardiovascular disease, promote good vision, and help maintain a healthy weight and body fat percentage. Red rice has a similar vitamin and mineral profile to brown rice. And we talked about brown rice just on my previous episode. So if you just go to the previous episode, you can find book page or on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to Dr. Stacy Cooper on YouTube and there you'll see the brown rice video. I'm not going to repeat that all right now, but you will see the benefits of brown rice. And so it says that red rice has a similar vitamin and mineral profile to brown rice. And I did cover that in our previous, but it does vary depending on the specific type of red rice that you use. So one of the only grains high in important anthocyanins is red rice. So it is important to start to including that in your, how you fuel your body naturally. This red rice is excellent for people with arthritis because eating it regularly can help reduce inflammation. It's important for good vision and it may help with weight loss and body fat, sorry, body fat reduction. So that's always what people are looking for as well. Practical tips. Most varieties of red rice can be put, cooked in exactly the same way as brown rice. Although some may take less time. So check the package directions. That's always the best bet. Read the labels and um, it will give you the best cooking instructions for that particular brand and variety of rice because it does vary a little bit. Red rice makes a real visual impact on the company, such as white fish or chicken. When we talk about the satiation center at the Balanced Living Academy, we talk about how color and texture and taste and all of those things, smells included too, all affect the satiation center in regards to fueling your body. And so when it is a colorful palette that you're presenting for yourself, you will be much more enticed and engaged to consume it than if it's all pale. So variety is really important for the visual cues, the salivatory cues in the mouth, and for taste and texture. So it's all important for stimulating the satiation center. And when that is satisfied, then you will be satisfied nutritionally and your stomach will be full. So when you're creating those complex fuels for your body. So you can learn more about that at the Balanced Living Academy as so I'll be hosting the next one. Red rice has a mild flavor and goes well with fruit and nuts in a salad. So this is another way that you can incorporate red rice. It just doesn't have to be a side dish on a dinner plate. You can serve it with fruits and nuts or in a salad. Here you're going to add more nutritional benefits to your salad. Instead of just your leafy greens, you're going to change up the texture a little bit. And that's going to stimulate your taste buds and your satiation center. So Camarouge red rice is different from other varieties. It has a short grain and a nutty flavor, and it's excellent in risottos. So that might be something that you want to look for when you're, you're incorporating red rice. So did you know one of the most highly prized types of red rice, Bhutan red rice, is grown 8,000 feet high up in the Himalayas? 
It's irrigated with glacier water and it's said to contain more minerals than other varieties. So that was Bhutan rice, B-H-U-T-A-N, red rice. That's what we're talking about. It has grown 8,000 feet up in the Himalayas and it's irrigated. So when you're fueling your body, break out of the same old, same old, but also go for complex fuels. And that's what I'm sharing with you today is healthy grains, gluten-free grains, because gluten is an inflammatory agent in the body and we're breaking away from that. And red rice is something that you can incorporate. So if you're joining us a little later in this Ask Dr. Stacy episode, then just skip back to the beginning and you won't miss a thing. As I said, we talked about brown rice on the previous episode. You can find those all on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page or my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Pardon me. And be sure to share it with your friends and family. As always, I would love your engagement, love to hear from you, where you're listening in from, questions that you have in regards to fueling your body better naturally. It's not just about food because you can eat well 100% of the time, but if other areas of your body still mind, nourishing the body, nourishing the spirit. Exercise is important. Socialization is important. Relationships are important. Quiet time is important. Meditation. So these are just some of the things that I discuss in our episodes of Ask Dr. Stacy. So if you have a specific question, be sure to email me. Just go to drstacy at drstacycooper.com and I'll get to those requests and incorporate them in our programs right here so you won't miss a thing. You can also visit my website, drstacycooper.com, and there I have a free two-part video series there for you. You can just enter your name and email address, and it's eliminating your five hidden energy drainers. And there you will see some simple, easy to incorporate tips on fueling your body and eliminating your energy drainers. Some of the things that you thought were helping actually be hindering you to check those out. Again, send me anything that you want to know, and we'll be in touch soon. I will see you on our next episode, and here's to enhancing your vitality. Have a fantastic day.